Alex and Lucas, two generic names. Those are some of those generic names you can give of them. Does every song need to have their title in the intro now? I think the visual effects on a coach are cool, but I don't know, it's, the song and the dance are kind of boring. It's unique, but boring. It just feels as if the Just Dance 3 choreo got uh, more camera effects. That's what that's what that choreo felt like. I don't know. The, the, the entire choreo just felt like a Just Dance 3 choreo. Like I swear, the entire song is just something you would find in Just Dance 3, except with more camera effects. I have, am I over exaggerating? Maybe, but I don't know. That felt like something you would see in Just Dance 3. I don't know. That's just me, though. Uh, I, I don't know. That one kind of sucks. <laughs> that song was just kind of boring. I mean, the effects on the dancers are cool, but like. That's about it. That's that's about it. That's the only good thing I think of is that the effects of the dancers are cool. That's all. Love the neon outlines, but other than that, it's just okay. 
It's just something you would find in Just Dance 3, I would think. Maybe this DLC, I would give it that. A DLC song from Just Dance 3, I'll give it that much, but... Still, a Just Dance 3 song, that's what it feels like. Like, you can't tell me otherwise. The only thing that makes it stand out are the special effects, and even... Just Dance 2 songs had special effects on the dancers, like that laser beam from Cosmic Girl. Or those uh, meteors also from Cosmic Girl, those 8-bit dancers. I'm not even sure if those are 8-bit, probably more like Atari sprites in uh, Move, Your, Move Your Feet from Just Dance 2. Um, yeah, those are the type of effects you would probably find. And also that jump text in Jump. Not the Van Halen one. I wish that was in Just Dance, but nope, it's not. I swear. <laughs> I swear this song, that song felt like a Just Dance 3 song. I just don't know what else to say about it.